talk about Israel mm -hmm. because it has been a point of uh, contention. How can America work productively towards a just and lasting peace between Israelis and Palestinians, in your opinion? By having an equal approach to dealing with both. Most of the things that have always been aggravating to me is that we have had uh, a policy that makes one superior to the other. And we mask it with a conversation that's about justice and a two-state solution when you have policies that clearly prioritize um, one over the other. Such as? Um, I mean, I, just our relationship really with uh, the Israeli government and the Israeli state. And so when I see Israel Institute um, law that, that recognizes it as a, as, a, as a Jewish state and does not recognize um, the other religions that are, that are living in it, and we still uphold it as a democracy in the Middle East, I almost chuckle because I know that if you know, we, 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 say, we see that in, in any other society, we would criticize it, we would call it out. We do that to Iran, we do that to any other place that sort of upholds its religion. Uh, and I see that now happening with Saudi Arabia. And so I am aggravated. What do you, what do you think about this here? Well, Omar has said some really, really crazy stuff that goes back to the Middle Ages in terms of its basis in anti-Semitism. Now, keep in mind, this isn't just some random nutty person uh, broadcasting from her college dorm room or, or her parents' basement. She's a U.S. congresswoman with incredible clout, incredible power, and the ability to reach out around the world. This woman literally says that Israel has hypnotized the world, and she prays to Allah to free the world from the spell of Israel. Now, She's never retracted that tweet. She's never retracted the statement. She says that that by attacking the government of Israel, she really likes Jewish people, but not the government of Israel. Now, when you're invoking your religion to save your religion from someone else's religion, that's pretty inflammatory. The quote that you were trying to run there is uh, a video clip that's gotten uh, very famous in the last few days where Omar is talking about other crimes of Israel, so to speak, and she just can't stop herself. Um, I, I don't know what to say other than her anti-Semitism uh, is obvious. She's talked about dual loyalties of Congress people. Uh, she's talked about how Israel must be stopped. Mm -hmm. uh, this specific clip is about the nation state law in Israel which ironically simply says it's a Jewish state, which it is. It was declared the Jewish state by the countries of the world in the UN Declaration in 1948. And there's one country, Jermaine, one country, and I hope your viewers write it down in magic marker on the refrigerator, where you can be a follower of any religion, any religion, without ending up in prison or being put to death. You can be gay, you can be straight, whatever, and you don't get put to death. If you're a Christian in certain countries, that's illegal. If you're a homosexual, you get put to death. If you're the wrong color from the wrong country, you get deported or beaten, or in the case of many popular African Arab countries, sold into slavery. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, and the followers of a of Jermaine's show on conservative nations, slavery is alive, and there are tens of thousands of African slaves being sold every month in the marketplace in Muslim countries. Why? Because it's legal under Islam. If you don't believe me, get yourself a Quran and look it up. So this is the lifestyle that Elon Omar, Elon Omar, your congresswoman, is promoting and saying things like, Israel is a racist apartheid state. Nothing is more absurd than that. It is the only country with freedom of religion and freedom of sexuality in the entire part of the globe. And if you don't believe me, go there.
The biggest gay parade in that side of the world is in Tel Aviv every year. And there are huge Christian churches and Catholic churches and Muslim mosques. The head of the worldwide head of Baha'i faith is in Haifa, and I've seen it, and it's gorgeous. And the reason it's there is they were being slaughtered in Iran, and they escaped, and they moved their worldwide headquarters. And believe me, they are not Jews. They are Baha'i. It's a different religion altogether. It's a beautiful religion, but it's not Jewish, and it's not Christian, and it's not Muslim. 